Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This here is the brand new HP Reverb G2 Omnicept. It's a special version of the Reverb G2 that is aimed at enterprise customers that simply need more sensors, like for example, eye tracking. So this here has an eye tracking sensor, of course, but more than that, it also has a facial tracker built in and a heart rate sensor. So enterprise customers can use these sensors for their own application. So that should be pretty interesting. The device is going to set you back $1,249 is available starting from right now. And in this video, I'm going to unbox it and have a first look. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Great to have you back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ag, and this channel is all about virtual reality. If you have not yet subscribed to it, do it now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss unboxings just like this one in the future. All right, this is the box of the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition. And well, it reminds us of the unboxing of the Reverb G2. Also here, this is the headset and we're going to have a closer look at it a bit later. Let's first check out what else is in the box. So here we go. And let's start here with the controllers. These are exactly the same Reverb G2 controllers that we already know. So they are very similar to the Oculus Touch controllers. However, you don't have the capacitive touch buttons and also the vibrations, the rumbling is not very strong. So they are okay, they get the job done, but it's nothing to write home about. Okay, in this box you'll find all the cables that you need and the power adapter. Let's have a look at the cable. This here, this looks a bit different as compared to the original cable. So this is a new cable and let's compare that with the old cable. So this part here is a bit smaller. The breakout box, this is where you connect the power adapter. And well, I've reached out to HP to find out what is the difference. I surely hope it is a better compatibility because some main boards did not play well with the Reverb G2. This is the cable that goes into the headset, still the same. And here you got display port and the other one is still the USB-C connector. Here it is, still USB-C and just like before, you're getting a USB-C to A adapter if you do not have a USB-C port. All right, that is the power adapter here, the European version. And also you're getting batteries for the controllers. All right, now let's get to the main part here, the Reverb G2 Omnicept. This is it. And I can directly see the difference here. This is made from leather, the back part and also the face pad. And of course here, the knob. You now have a knob in order to adjust the headset size. I like that. Let's inspect the rest of the headset. But first, very important, let's get rid of the protective foil here. Okay, the other one, again, without comment. The most important part of any headset unboxing. All right, let's have a look at the gasket here. It's a special one because it includes the heart rate sensor. So therefore we do have some pogo pins here in the back. So that's how the heart rate sensor can work. Is this still compatible to all the other face gaskets? It is, I have checked it out. So you can still use other face gaskets if you do not want to use this one. Then we also have the proximity sensor still, it's here. And now we have eye tracking. This is actually Toby eye tracking that is built into the Omnicept. So therefore you can directly see that here. The face gasket, as I told you, is now made of leather. I'm not sure if it's real leather or PU leather. It does feel good and well, it's easy cleanable. And that's of course important. This here is the facial tracker and it allows developers to track your facial expressions and show them in VR. Especially important for applications that facilitate virtual meetings and hopefully we'll see that included in software soon. Let's have a look at the head strap now. First of all, this is the cable clip and well, this directly broke for the Reverb G2 for me, but this one now is much more stable. 
And this, of course, is a great update. The adjustment knob now, we don't have Velcro like with the G2 and we can easily adjust the size of the headset here with this knob and it simply works as intended to. Let's have a look at the audio solution. Again, the same audio solution as in the G2 and in the Valve Index. These are headphones that are floating over your ears and you can still adjust them. This is a great audio solution. The heart rate sensor is protruding a bit and I still have to find out if this is uncomfortable, if you can feel it when you wear it. And this is exactly what I have to do now. Simply wear it and tell you about it. Overall, this makes a good first impression, great build quality and now let me check it out. Alright, here it is, the HP Reverb 2 Omnicept Edition, a $1249 enterprise headset. And I can directly see the changes that they made and well, I see that that makes sense. So here, the padding, all is now this kind of leather which you can easily wipe clean. And that of course makes sense for enterprise customers if you give that to lots of different customers of your business or employees, then, well, you can easily wipe it clean. Also, what I always wanted to have, <laughs> now I have it, and that is this adjustment knob, which makes it easier to adjust the device for different kind of head sizes. Here at the MRTV headquarter, I had the MRTV experience before COVID, where people could come here and check out all the different headsets, and it was always a hassle yeah, to set up this, this kind of Velcros to make the different headsets fit or the Reverb G2. But with this, this is without a doubt easier and I prefer this. So that is cool. Yeah, as you know, always for my unboxings, I'm going to put that on my face for the first time and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. So here, let's see how that leather feels and especially that heart rate sensor that sits directly here on your forehead, if that sticks out, if, if yeah, let's just check it out together. So let me put this on for the very first time now. Okay. All right. Yeah, actually I, I was fearing that I would feel that heart rate sensor, but I don't feel it right now. So that's good. Yep. Yeah, it kind of feels like the Reverb, <laughs> Reverb G2, just with that different feeling of the leather now on my on my skin. In direct A-B comparison, I would personally prefer the cloth-like material of the Reverb G2 as compared to this leather, right? But for enterprise customers, this just makes way more sense. But what's good, I don't feel like that heart rate sensor somehow. Not at all, actually. So that is good. Yeah, other than that, we have the comfort of the Reverb G2 that we know and love. It's a very balanced headset. And the knob, it works well. So that is good. That is really good. Yeah, so first impression is a very good one, just like the G2, build quality is top notch. And the only thing I can do now is actually try this out. All right, and here we are in the Reverb G2 Omnicept. And I can directly tell you the picture quality is just as good as the one of the Reverb G2. Well, it is the Reverb G2, just with additional sensors. So you're getting an incredible visual quality here and well i can tell you i've been using the pro 2 for quite a while now and in direct comparison the picture quality here is better you don't have as much god rays you have a better sweet spot and yeah also a better binocular overlap right the only thing you're missing is the wider fov but in terms of the picture quality this is still the clearest picture in vr right now the Omniset also has the same controllers and the same controller tracking. We have inside-out tracking, so we can bring this anywhere without having to set up base stations. The tracking itself is good for sure for enterprise. It's good enough, even for consumers. For most consumers, this will be good enough. But, well, the only shortcoming is 
the tracking volume it is not as big as other headsets but for normal use and especially for enterprise use this is going to be good enough unfortunately i don't yet have software to show off the eye tracking and the mouth tracking and the heart rate sensor so this is something that i'm going to show you later on the channel once i have demos of these apps that can actually use the sensors something interesting that i can tell you i've been using the new cable obviously <laughs> and for the old cable of the reverb g2 the usb cable would only work in one special usb port and the others would not work but here now i tried one of the ports that do not normally work on the reverb g2 on the old cable but here everything directly worked out of the box so Perhaps this means that the new cable will work on more ports or probably on all ports. So that would be great, of course. All right, let's get to my first assessment of the Reverb G2 Omnisept. In my opinion, this is a great headset for enterprise customers who are looking for a VR headset that can offer close to photorealistic visuals. And it can do that. It's simply beautiful. These customers must be okay that this is a wired headset. So if you need a standalone headset, obviously this is not for you. But if you're okay with the cable, then this is a great solution. Also, of course, especially if you need eye tracking. This has eye tracking built in, Toby eye tracking. So this will be compatible with all the eye tracking apps that you probably use or that you want to use. Before these customers would go for the Vive Pro i that is already a bit aged right now and the visuals here are without a doubt so much better. Also, it has inside out tracking for the controllers so you can more easily bring this out to customers if you need to do so. For the Vive Pro 2, unfortunately, it does not come with an eye version with eye tracking and later you would have to buy some kind of eye tracking kit that you can later put into the device. So this is easier, right? It's already built in. And then on top of it, you get better visuals than with the Pro 2. Also, you get better audio. And again, you get controllers that are inside out tracked that you can simply bring anywhere without having to put up the base stations. So in my opinion, really this is a fantastic headset for enterprise customers who do not need a standalone headset. And yeah, for $1,249, I believe that for these enterprise customers, this is even a great deal. On top of that, you get a facial tracker and a heart rate tracker, so you can make your own applications that make use of these sensors, and that should be pretty interesting. So my first impressions, absolutely a big thumbs up for enterprise customers. Now, how about consumers, like enthusiasts who want to pick this one up? Well, I don't think it's worth it, the double price as compared to the Reverb G2, because, well, at the moment there isn't much for eye tracking or also not for the facial tracking here. So you will have a nice headset, but well, you can have it for half the price, the Reverb G2. And well, I don't think you actually need those sensors. So in my opinion, this is simply a great headset for enterprise customers. All right, and that's it for this unboxing and first hands-on of the HP Reverb G2 Omnisept. Once I get access to software that's actually using those sensors, of course, I'm going to try that out and I'm going to give you more content about the Omnisept. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV, then absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And if you want more content from me, if you want behind the scenes videos and lots of more, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. That is my Patreon channel. And with only $1, you can join. And I'll be, of course, very happy to see you there. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Omnisept? Is it interesting for you as an enterprise customer? Or would you even pick this up as a consumer? Do let me know. I'm looking forward to see you in the comment section. Until then, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.